Mighty Networks or Circle, which is best for you? This video compares the two platforms, especially looking at how they're used to create and offer online courses and online community and memberships. I've been using the Mighty Networks platform myself and with clients for over three years now and wanted to take a look at Circle and do a review video. Then the folks at Mighty Networks reached out and asked if I thought about doing a video, and so here we are. The ideas, the opinions, the content, the recommendations in this video are entirely mine. I'm Marcia Chadley, here to help you be successful with online community and courses. The Mighty Networks plan that I'm going to be using in this video is the business plan. The circle plan that I'm going to be using is the professional plan. It has similar content and similar pricing. One important difference I want to point out between the Mighty Networks business plan and the Circle Professional plan is that in the Circle Professional plan, you're limited to three admins, 10 moderators, and 20 spaces. In the Mighty Networks business plan, you have unlimited numbers in all three of those. Before I take you into a Mighty Network and a Circle and show you what a course and a community look like in both places, Let's talk about the building blocks that we're going to use. In both platforms, all the action happens in the space. That's the same term in both platforms. That's where people can come together and engage and where you can provide content. There are also ways in both platforms to organize the spaces. And that puts them in, uh, groups them together in the navigation bar. In Circle, that's called a space group. And in Mighty Networks, that's called a collection very similar concepts. Then inside the space, that's where we get to a little bit of difference. Both platforms let you have activity feeds or a chat room, event listing where you can have multiple events, a members list, and also a way to show, show organized content. In Mighty Networks terms, that's a table of contents. And in circle terms, that's called a course. Mighty Networks has three other options for a space, a single event page, handy if you want to do something like a webinar where there's only one event that's going to happen. You can also have a single page feature, which is like a website page where you can provide information easily. And there's also a highlighted hashtag feature that has to do with their highlighted hashtags and searching. The biggest difference between spaces in Circle and spaces in Mighty Networks is that in Circle, a space can only have one of the available features. And in Mighty Networks, it can have one, but it can also have one of each type. So in Mighty Networks, you could create a space that is only an activity feed, like you can have in Circle, but you could also create a space that is an activity feed and also a table of contents so that you're providing information and engaging right in the same space. Let's take a look at how all of this looks actually in Mighty Networks and in Circle. To actually be able to see and experience the difference of single function spaces in Circle versus multiple function spaces in Mighty Networks, I created this circle that mimics my Mighty Network. Take a look at the navigation bar here in Mighty Networks. This is my existing Mighty Network. If you want to look at it in person, the URL is in the video description. Here's the navigation bar inside the circle, made to be as close as possible to what I was doing in my network. Although, remember we talked about you can only have 20 spaces in circle. In my Mighty Network, I only have 13 spaces, but when I expand Span those for the single function spaces in circle, I needed 24. So there's a few spaces that are here in my Mighty Network that are not included in the circle. Let's look more closely at what it takes to participate in a self-directed course inside Mighty Networks and inside Circle. Happier New Members is a self-directed e-course inside my network. It's one of three spaces inside the Mighty Essentials collection where people can go to learn more about the basics of using the Mighty Networks platform. Once you're inside the Happier New Member space, you land on the single page feature that helps you understand how to get the most out of this course. And then you can move between the course material 
We can learn and do the things in the course and then use the activity feed to talk to other people who've been taking this course. Inside Circle, the Mighty Essentials collection became three space groups. Mighty Essentials space group has starting your network, which was a single function space. And then ideas and inspiration, instead of being a space like it is inside Mighty Networks, became a space group in Circle with three different spaces inside it for the three different features inside that Mighty Network space. Happier New Members, the self-directed e-course, has th is a space group with three different spaces inside it. The Start Here space tells people how to use this course. The course material is found here. You can walk through and look at and follow the information. If you go back to the navigation bar and click Sharing and Questions to go in and interact with people who are also taking the course. When taking a self-directed e-course like this in Circle, to move between the directions and the course material and the interacting in the activity feed, you'll need to move back and forth through the navigation bar. When you're in the Mighty Network, to move through the directions and the course material and the sharing, you're doing that across the top of the screen. It's not as obvious in the browser, but when we look at the app next, you'll really see the difference. This is the navigation bar in the Circle phone app. I want to start here with Happier New Members, look at the directions and see what I want to do next. Then I'll go back into the navigation bar to use the course material, open that up, work through the different lessons. When I want to talk to somebody, I'm going to need to go back into the navigation bar, open up the sharing and questions, and now I can interact and comment and share with different people. So whenever I want to go between the material and the community there, I'm going to need to come back to the navigation bar. Here's the navigation feed in the Mighty Networks app. I'm going to touch Happy New Members to enter there. I'm in the directions area and when I want to use the course itself, move into here go through the different course lessons. When I have a question or I want to share something, I just pop right over here and I'm in the activity feed and I can comment and ask questions here. I'm not having to go back to the navigation bar every time that I want to move around inside this course. Let's use the phone app and take a look now at an area that could be used for a, a small group interaction and online membership even a course with live events. Inside the Mighty Network apps, there's an activity feed. You can see the different events that are scheduled. There's a library of information that you can look at. There's also a chat room that people can talk to in. And a member list. So we can get at all those here within one screen in the Mighty Networks app. We're back to the Circle app to look at success partners there. That's our area where we could have a membership, we could have a live course going on. In the navigation bar, we would click on this space with the activity feed if we wanted to interact and see what's going on there. Go back to the navigation bar to find the different events. We could look at those. Go back to the navigation bar, check out the library of resources if there's something we wanted to look at there. If we wanted to go to the chat room, come in through there, and then also the member list. So all the same features are there that we can get to in the Circle app, but we need to go back and forth between the, the um, navigation bar and the space and remember that there's something else there that we want to go look for. For me, not being able to have multiple features inside a single space is just a showstopper. I don't like what the navigation bar becomes. There's too many things in it. And I really don't like the user experience, what a member has to go through if they're trying to participate in the different experiences within a single course or a single membership. I think it's too disengaged and clunky for them. Circle might be a good thing if you have something really small in scope, you have a single course, you have a single community. In my case, I wasn't able to recreate my not really 
very complicated Mighty Network inside circle with the similar plan. There weren't enough spaces. I would have had to pay more to have extra spaces. What I'm really curious about, though, is what you think. So I've put links in the video description so that you can try free trials yourself. Which platform do you think fits your needs? If you've liked this video, please subscribe to this YouTube channel for more tips and techniques to help you with your online communities and courses.